Welcome back to the den. What thoughts are forming in your head? I know what thoughts are forming in my head. Feels like we were doing this just not too long ago. Enlightened her well. I did. A little over a week ago. Irish Spring came back as Enlightened her well. A few months ago, we celebrated us fanboys, Doug, Fran, and Hux. We celebrated the 10 year anniversary of Phoenix shaving. And that culminated with champagne. So we finished it off. So the second decade is off to a great start. Phoenix Lights, Denade Foil 50, Vector, Enlightener Well. Talk about a makeover. Like I said, you probably already saw it. The name, the, the artwork is freaking amazing. Something I, I talked about last week too is how I love the artwork and what Doug pours into them. And something I'm going to touch on in a second is the artwork for this, Thought Forms. But first, let's jump into the scent profile. Citrus, basil, menthol, floral, rose. I don't pick up rose. Spice, green. That's an actual note. Green is a word that is used to describe a fragrance. Green. Then we have amber, cedar, patchouli, woody. The menthol like black shroud is a scent note this is not a mentholated soap this is not a mentholated splash the star jelly when it comes out you will have the menthol option and the non-mentholated option i haven't decided which one i'm going to reach for yet for me menthol has a time and a place and i'm really thinking though that i may go with the mentholated option on this one So you shouldn't detect any type of menthol sensation though from the soap or from the splash. The menthol is a fragrance. Now I'm, I'll, I'll attach my Black Shroud review, which is an absolutely beautiful backdrop if you didn't see it. Um, that was one of my favorite outdoor shaves. I discuss how the menthol plays with the fragrances in that video. Green, super cool. I was discussing it with Doug this morning. Green can be described as a crumpled leaf. I think of like uh, if you take a, floor, a flower, like the stem of like a rose or anything really, and you cut that stem and you smell the stem, that greenness, that is the kind of note that this is bringing. Fresh, wet grass still covered with dew. If you know, get down there and you really smell that. An intense undergrowth, damp, and peppery that is what a green note is this is a collaboration with dave johnson of fragrance bros started about two years ago dave approached douglas and wanted hot rocks fragrance of hot rocks that's what got this ball rolling so this is a collaboration between fragrance bros dave johnson and douglas on the artwork, so it's super, super cool. Part of the appeal for me and PAA is that Douglas makes shaving fun. His stories and the artwork that helps tell the story. This is Otra. You see it's like all lava-y, right? We have Otra sitting there. This is Otra, Alfin's twin sister. Also take a look here at the green alien. Excuse me. The green alien here is wearing a hagstone around his neck. The spaceship used to be on the EDP um, of Harvest Moon. It no longer is. But if you look close, he's wearing this hagstone. 
This is a double-headed salamander breathing fire. And these are definitely from the same universe. And I know that this has a story coming at some point, like a book. I can't help but wonder, especially if we flip them like this, that these two are going to tie in somehow. All of the Doug's labels have hidden meanings and hidden messages almost. Like, think the satanic panic and like play it backwards. Like, what, what do you see if you flip it upside down maybe? I love this fragrance. I've been playing with it for months now. I have the sample that he sent out back, what was it, late summer, early fall. With these samples, I never use them ever. I don't remember ever doing it. I don't use them as a splash. I take and just put a couple of, of dabs on my finger, three or four, depending on you know, how much I get on there. And then I use that to experience the fragrance. I already know what I'm going to get from the splash. And that's tier one post shave. But what I don't know when I'm picking up a sample is the fragrance. Oh, guys, this is amazing. I'm not going to go too in depth with it, but I will say this. I believe, in my opinion, if you enjoy Fresco, John Frum, or, um, or Twee, Green Irish Tweed from Creed, or Douglas's Twee, which is an identical clone. If you enjoy Fresco, Frum, or Twee, you're going to love Thought Forms. Oh, so damn good. I'll see you guys soon with a full review of this. Thank you again, Douglas, Fran, and Hux. This is sent to me for review. I didn't pay for it. I'm reviewing it. And I can't say thank you enough. It's a banger. It really freaking is. Maybe this next weekend, we'll have it headed our way. I want to thank everyone who tuned, turned out for We Shave today. Uh, that was awesome. Congratulations, Jordan Tiki41. He won the third We Shave entry. I appreciate you guys. Let's, I really do. And I appreciate Doug um, and Fran trusting my opinion and or valuing my opinion and uh, trusting me with this. It's huge. It's big for me. I'm going to love you until I see you again. And uh, hey, love yourself. There's nothing better than self-love. I like to experience self-love. And if we're being honest, who doesn't? So until next time, love yourself, just not too much. And preferably not in front of others. But now what kind of thoughts you got forming? Take care of yourself. Thank you.